Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Board Destruction. On this episode, I actually lost the intro to this video, but I still have the script on my phone, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to give you guys a recreation of what that intro was originally like. On this episode of Board Destruction, while clearing out a closet that really needs to be cleaned out, I discovered an HP DeskJet 1050A. The printer had been sitting around for so long, and the last time it was tested, it still kind of worked, but honestly, the printer ate through so much ink to where the cost to run it was higher than the printer was actually worth. But now the printer was virtually useless because HP made all the cables on the back proprietary and I don't even have them anymore because they got lost somewhere. But before we destroy the printer, what if this cheapo 2011 printer is somehow a collector's item or worth a lot of money? Considering it's from HP, shut up! Considering it's from HP and produced on a large scale, I hardly doubt it's rare, but let's check eBay and find out. Yeah, clearly not rare, as one without a box literally sold for £2, and a box one sold for barely anything anyway. I think I'd lose money selling the printer, if I'm honest, rather than destroying it. And would anyone really want it anyway? Also, I'm pretty sure this thing is broken, and every time I touch the back, it's literally leaking ink, so it's probably a perfect time to finally destroy it. I know that that intro is out of the way, let's get on with the video of me destroying the HP printer. You've got mail! As you can tell, I wasn't lying about this thing literally leaking ink from the back of it. I have no idea how this is even happening or where it's even coming from. Ah! Wait a minute, this video is kind of boring already. Everyone's already seen the exact same thing over and over and over again, of just taking a hammer to the printer. How am I going to be original with this video? I'm going to throw this Xbox 360 at it. Oh, I feel like this is gonna go absolutely everywhere. Perhaps this part is just plastic and not glass. Or the Xbox 360 is just a weak piece of shit. Probably the second answer. Find that hammer this time. Oh, I heard something. I heard something. Oh, that's a very sharp glass. Because I didn't even get a cool shot of it. Alright, now that I've broken the glass, we no longer need this cover! Can someone tell me what this is for? I have no idea what this is for, but either way it's going. No, I can't break it. I know another way we can break it. Please no one photoshop this and put some really cursed shit on here. What? HP, horrible product! Why won't it bend? Horrible product. This thing sat out here for the past like week now in the pouring, you know, rain, snow, that kind of thing throughout the past week. And so I think it's time that we finally get around to destroying it. I'm gonna try and aim in there now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be its final goodbye. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, there goes the print mechanism. Oh, I think that was the scanning mechanism. Yeah, there that goes. Let's see if the smaller weapon helps. I wish I had that recording slow-mo. I 
I broke it off camera on accident, but... My phone ran out of storage. Technology. HP desk jet, more like HP crap jet. Technology! Oh my gosh! There was quite literally nothing underneath that little cover. This is actually quite a sturdy little metal part. Oh fuck, it's full of ink. Oh yeah, this thing was leaking ink. What did I expect? Uh, we'll, we'll just put it. Up. Motherboard. I want to set this printer on fire, but first of all, I need to compress. The down because this is a way too large piece for uh, what I'm about to do so say it with me HP no we are not dank pods what's inside an ink cartridge let me look at that ink Look, it's ink. I also touched it, and now there's ink on my hands. What's on the other hand that I'm holding my phone with? Wow, all it was burning was just this massive red bit and just the top cover. Life hack, 
if you're ever smashing something and there's a lot of pieces like this printer, all you have to do is just do a small fire and then look, all the pieces are then stuck together. Just make sure you're not stupid unlike me and actually have a hose ready. And just don't get freaked out and start playing with the camera. Also, I wouldn't recommend filming on a really windy day. It's not advised. It makes the fire go mad. Well, that was an epic fire. Even though that fire was kind of scary. And these pieces are all that's left of the printer. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. By the way, I'm filming this a day later. I got scared by the massive fire last night and I didn't want to continue filming. Anyway, bye. That's my mission, to retrieve that. Progress. And now we get this out of the wreckage, which I think I can go. Got it. And now this piece can go to recycling as well.